Well, good morning. I'm Bill Cook from Greenlee County Cooperative Extension out here on the east side of Arizona. And we're, we're putting in some uh, demonstration gardens here for our classes and such. And this is gonna require a retaining wall. So what we're doing here is called a dry stacked retaining wall. Um, we're using these, these large blocks. Some of them are cast in such a way that they have a lip on the back so they don't slide off. These particular ones go together with a fiberglass rod. There's lots of different kinds. There's lots of different methods. Um, so when you're shopping around for these blocks, do a little bit of studying. You will find that certain blocks are only made to build a wall to a certain height. There's a lot to it. And of course, always check with your local building codes before you do anything like this. For the most part, depending on the height of the wall, these do not require a permit here anyway. So what we've done is we've, we've decided where we're gonna put our retaining wall and we have dug it down below finish grade. Right where I'm standing is finish grade. So this is about two inches or so lower so that when we grade the soil back, the blocks won't tend to scoot out from the weight behind them. What we've done here to design this wall is we've used this laser level here, and I'm gonna say right here is finished grade. So right here, we've got 32 inches, right where my feet are. We'll come down here and We've got 34 inches, meaning that the bottom of this trench is two inches lower. And you'll see that I have leveled it with pea gravel. I dug it out probably six inches lower. I put about a four inch layer of pea gravel in there. The pea gravel allows us to level things and scoot them around and it won't settle as would Earth. If I use soil in the bottom of this trench, it could settle and cause the wall to sag in places. So here we've got 34 inches where the bottom of the wall is going to sit. Up here, 14 inches. So what we've done here is we've taken and we've determined where the bottom of the wall is and we have determined that our wall when it's said and done at 20 inches is going to extend an inch or two above the finish grade here so that's how we've done that now you'll see here that our irrigation system which waters this entire place is run with poly tubing but here where we go under the wall we have adapted to pvc because PVC is less inclined to leak and we sure don't want to have to dig under this wall once we've put it in. Now to do that, what we've done is we've bought these adapters that's very similar to the adapter that you see or the, the barb fitting that you see in a coupler or a T or something. You can buy those just like that, glue it into a piece of half inch depending on the size you're using glue that in there and then you can adapt this poly tubing to pvc where it goes under the wall so that saves a lot of trouble down the road So the block has been laid and we're backfilling it now. Um, here helping me today is Connie Waddell. She was in AmeriCorps up until recently and hopefully she'll do another term when it comes up. But 
she's been involved in this wall from the start so she's here helping we're settling this soil in one of the most important things is to get it settled well because when this is done we're going to run a water line in here we're going to plant grapes stuff like that so this is a handy dandy little tool that i made i've adapted this with a hose swivel and a piece of pvc and i can just run this down and use this to settle the soil on the back side of the wall and then once we get it nice and wet and soupy then we'll use the shovel to work it down in the back side but this is a part that's easy to overlook um, we don't want it to settle later and of course if the soil's not well settled on the back of the wall then water from the top will run down and come out the front and make a muddy mess so this is this is settling the soil what's all the muddy mess at one time yeah it gets the muddy mess over all at once and you can see down here where Connie's been working at it for a little while you can see that this is very well settled to the point that water is standing here and not running through the wall and this is what we're after just make it soft and soupy and just work it in there and that's backfilling the wall <laughs> <laughs>